season. Hey guys, Squishy here. Uh, gonna be doing something a little different. Um, Sunday Fun Day. Gonna try to do uh, once a week. Um, most likely combo oriented, but decks that are gonna be uh, some unique win conditions that won't be total meme worthy. They'll still be playable in a competitive setting, but they may not be meta or um, even close to meta. Like some might be too slow for it to get the combo pieces off, but we're not looking for like unlimited turn things here. We're looking to actually win. So the combo we got for this week, we got a even even split on Freylord and Ionia. But Starlight Seer's the hero for today. Bunch of uh, buff spells to keep ourselves and him alive. And some things to slow down our opponent from ending the game with Will of Ionia for tempo. Catalyst of Aeons to speed up to Karma Enlightened. Which Karma Enlightened getting the two double effect for spells will um, help our Starlight Seer get even more value. But our... And then our karma flipped over the game's taking a little longer um the winter's breath and the fray lord option is a awesome board wipe but our, our win condition here starlet seer gets on the board we keep him alive um at best we can he gets a bunch of plus one ones for every spell we cast the biggest i think i've done so far is a plus 18 plus 18 uh, on top of unit stats and then we give that to a shadow assassin whose value standalone and then scarred maiden reaver who's also value standalone the overwhelm allows us to get be almost like elusive and guarantee damage um, and then the regeneration is just so in case we need to drop him down early without buffs uh, with all the spells that we have of keeping the seer alive we can use on him as well to just maintain board control until we get to our OTKO. And Karma Enlightened with one twin disciples is Starlight Seer plus six damage attack on um, hitting them in the face. But I got some a couple cool gameplays. I accidentally forgot to hit record on a sweet plus 40 plus 40 swing. But... Um, We'll do commentary for one match, and then the rest are just going to be you guys getting to check out the deck. So, hope you guys can play around with this. Should work at, um, honestly, any league up to Diamond. I feel like Diamond's this when it starts getting real meta heavy, but even playing in Masters League, this went like 50 50, and then normals, it was actually 60 70% win. Um, if not higher, if you include all the people who just auto surrender. But yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, just some gameplay here. We got a Lucian Noxus aggro deck that we did play. I did play a little greedy in this matchup here, but showed it showed really well of how this deck can perform at any competitive scenario. So Scarlet's here. We have to hard mulligan for or a Catalyst of Aeons um, to at least tempoing towards that enlightened state as quickly as possible. Um, drawing two isn't ideal, but these early game decisions is basically, do I want to drop Scarlet Seer and block? Um, but without having the one mana, um, plus two health to a unit, Elixir of Iron, I really just didn't feel the need to play him early because I wasn't going to block. So I guess I missed one spell mana here uh, from playing optimally. Now, the, even just looking at our hand, we have so many options for getting Karma early on the board, trying to get spell generation out of it. We can drop the Reaver to contest board with his regeneration to start taking away some of his cheaper units. Um, Will of Ionia for just a 2-3 or a 3-3 is pretty weak at this point. And hitting for 5 is a quarter of our HP, but Catalyst of Aeons is able to 
keep us out of a threatening state at this point. And I guess with full Catalyst with Aeons, whenever your opponent has full mana, is always kind of a bad move. So this is kind of a misplay on my part. I probably should just drop the Reaver to be safe. Because then I, I get punished like this. And now that he has zero mana, I could block the Seer into the, the Chief. But... One of those things about this deck is you can lifesteal for some insane amounts once you get the engine running. And I don't really don't want to risk trading my Seer when I... All I've gotten is another Seer with plus one one so far, so... Really need to... Get some value here. So late, but Reaver goes down. Now we have some able to contest the board a little bit. And then I'm going to have a full three spell mana. And I have no reason to attack just because why give our opponent options for reacting to us when we really have no way to counter react. You always want to be able to have, be, have something to do, not just rely on your opponent not having something to do. Now, with him having such a wide board right now, I'm pretty much dead to back-to-back, -to -back, no matter what. And he's able to swing for an insane amount, so I was trying to think of... I could have just cat uh, dropped another Seer and Catalyst of Aeons, and then pray he had absolutely nothing for combat. But just in case he had another Rally... I popped the early Winner's Breath. Saving that for Karma can be so nice because it just clears the entire board with that double cast effect, but we're just not able to have the time here with how quick this Lucian Senna combo. And he's trying to bait minions dying to get that Lucian flip and I probably should have killed one there. But I guess that's the problem of uh, rocking a newborn while you're playing uh, meme decks on ladder. So now I'm just trying. I'm playing around the rally now. Try instead of playing. Um, let's pause that. Instead of playing Karma, which I would have only had enough mana for Will of Ionia. I wanted to be able to stop two minions, so I wanted to have six mana for the harsh harsh winds. So I'm filling up the board to go to counter his wide right now, and my Dumbo self did not clear one of his minions earlier. This will be a good winter. And then since he hasn't played a rally, you would think he would have. After I played the first minion, he would have played a rally to guarantee stuff. And he just has an... no clue what the play was that is, but this is normal. This isn't Master League, so we're not playing against the a perfect opponent here. And I wouldn't say his deck is meta either, but it does it is a good example of just aggro in general. And then just to clarify again, like this. Yes, we're trying to focus on some very combo oriented decks. It's not going to. It's con consistency is the main issue with it. And I try to make this deck as consistent as possible, but I mean. I would say Ezreal is the biggest issue with this deck, is because this deck is takes so much time. And it doesn't really have a way to rush down opponents at all. That Ezreal is just always going to be able to kind of win the race and just kill you in a turn without you being able to react. So I would say that that's what's main. Ezreal is the main thing keeping this deck outside of ladder at the moment. But this style of play might be something that can transfer over into this next set of cards with like Fizz being released and everything. Might get some really cool. really cool plays with get maybe like a 10 10 fizz that comes on the board that we can just keep buffing and making it untouchable by spells 
be kind of some cool combos I'm looking forward to play with. So lots of spells this turn. I was curious of what that was going to be for the Senna. He just wants to guarantee he has another Senna in hand. So we waited with that Harsh Winds just to get him to commit more, more things to the board. And then... The Seers have kind of already... Uh, they're getting tons of buffs out at this point. That's plus 4-4 four, four just from this turn alone. So I wanted to keep the... Shadow Assassin alive in case we drew a Twin Disciples with Karma who can flip next turn, and then I could just one-shot. So that's why I decided to uh, Harsh Winds the Warchief over the Spider and Elite. Seer's just buffing up that board like crazy, combat going through. And... He's just going to fill up with those Senna's. So Karma goes down in Leiden, and th this is where... Unless we're super behind and empty hand, this is just like any enlightened Karma, just kind of takes over the, the game. And with this deck especially, it's pretty cool how much power we can do. Interesting hand from our opponent, too. I wanted to save the mana for the three spell mana there, but there's plus six, six shadow assassin, so that's just from that one turn of buffs. We have so many harsh winds here that there's no way anything's gonna kill us. Now, my thought process here is. Obviously, I could Harsh Winds both of those, but Lucian's going to die, and they're going to get double attack. So if he had any small buff, it's going to be double damage. And they're already going to be doing, like, four. So he, he really only needs a plus three. Like an Elixir of Might or something on either of them. To be, like, really scary. Or to finish me off. So I block just because, just to guarantee that I don't just get one shot. He's going to guarantee that my Seer is dead and that Asena survives. Or both Asena survive? Ugh, sorry. And then we get to do a little bit of craziness. So 8-8. Eight, eight. Now there's 6-6. Six, six. And like I know those numbers aren't like crazy. Like it's not dropping like a 20-20. The uh, the two videos following this, we're gonna there's gonna be a like an 18-18. And some other cool stuff, but I feel like this shows more of a competitive nature of the deck. And I wanted to kind of, I was like, ah, I might not attack with everything just so I can like keep getting bigger stuff. But I was just like, we gotta, gotta play to win. So swing with the whole board. The Shadow Assassins alone have lethal, so unless he has something. And then I kind of rub it in his face a little bit. Go. Just free harsh winds the entire board, throw another more buff. Elixir of Iron, this guy. I could have done it on any of these. But it also just shows how his his hand didn't have much to react to. But, yeah, I mean, 17 damage in, in one turn, elusive, and that was from only one round of buffs. Just shows how uh, how crazy that this uh, this deck can do. But um, I'm not going to do commentary for the rest of the things. Go ahead and check them out. You want to see some crazy numbers. Um, 
appreciate all the love I've been getting on Reddit, DMs, comments, and everything. So I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys. Gonna try to start focusing on getting some more comp, um, content out. The um, spiders and standalone deck are definitely still climbable at the moment for your final pushes. Um, but I think I'm gonna be focusing all of my efforts to hit this um, new set of cards really hard, so stay tuned. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. We fight for one frail yard. the strong slaughter the weak 
This'll take the chill off. <laughs> Ruffle our feathers. Fly away while you can. Let's not ruffle our feathers. You cannot escape. about your door again. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. The body must thrive for the mind to be free.
see all. You can! Let's not ruffle our feathers! This will be a good winter! Not high.
land provides to those who listen. Ah, an auspicious season! Sire of death. away while you can! Best not ruffle our feathers! This would be a good winter! You cannot escape! See all. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll have what he's having. season. for me. Let me show you what I can do. This would be a good winter. Ah, oh, an auspicious season.
body must thrive for the mind to be free. This will be a good winter! Conviction. Fly away while you can. Blessed by snow and stars, this will be a good winter. myself. First one's free.
closer look. Thank you. 